hello guys mm. in this video we are going to learn how to make arduino mega shield so at first we will open eagle software then we have to add some libraries i have shown you in the previous tutorial video like in this part also and this part is added by me and this or uh, this type of um, libraries were the built-in libraries of eagle so <laughs> now how to open a new project in eagle software at first you have, you have to go to the project profile then you have to click right then you have to go to the projects folder then you have to click left you can search in this folder by using this search in folder file then you have to as i have already added some of my projects so there are um, mainly three types of project and at present i am working on so for example i i am going to add, add a new project here so at first we have to click left then open new folder then here you can see that a new project has been added here like for example you can see click right in this project here you have to click the left button of the mouse then uh, then new then symmetric now you you can work in this platform so before studying our work we need to learn something about the adding libraries also so at first we have to go to open library manager then you can see that um, in in use option there are many libraries that means these library are in action or in use so at first uh, if you have installed eagle for the first time then you will f find many libraries here in the available option so at first you have to click here then you have to click use you can click multiple libraries at once then you can click use then these all libraries will be added in use folder so these libraries are mainly needed to design circuits so here are some options uh, to build a circuit so this one is a group option then move then mirror then rotate then copy paste delete change add a design uh, add part net bus junction level and module and port uh, module and port are mainly used to add some parts and then design block there are many built in design which we can use in further more circuits then in that part is we can add many electronic elements here so like for example um, this r2 is the part with which you can give name to the elements then here you, you can give the value of the elements so at first we are going to click add part then we are going to go to search button like we are going to add resistor
so there are many types of register i am taking mpn or rc with register so you can see that this one is the register then you can notate this ele element by using the left button of the mouse like this one this way then you can also add another part like capacitors then enter yes this one is a polished capacitor then you can click here there are many types of models you can add different types of models here then you can also load it then you can connect these two elements by using net so click right in the net then click on the edge of the element then to the another edge of the uh, other element then they are these two are partially connected uh, then we can add uh, ground ground so then if you want to move a element then we have to click the move part then to the plus part of the element like uh, this one so there is a plus part in the element so you have to click in the plus part of the element to perform some activities in the elements uh, this is the basic circuit uh, I have drawn here to show you about how Eagle works. So I have already done a project on Arduino Mega Shield. So you can see this. So in this project you can see that there is a Arduino prototype, Arduino Mega prototype. So you have to keep a clear knowledge about how Arduino Mega works or what type of pin is being used to add different types of elements. So especially I have added uh, 4 L298 pin and BMP and I2C. So at first I'm going to show you how the at first what type of things we have to do. At first we have to go to add part, then you have, have to type here Arduino or Mega. Then then Arduino Mega R3. I have used Arduino Mega R3. You can use another models also. Then you can see that this one will occur. First, we have to ensure that um, the Arduino li library is being added to the Eagle software because we are taking these elements from Arduino li library. So, so here there are many pins at first i'm going to show you like for example there are 5 volt pins so i'm going to connect these 5 volt pins with the net likewise this way then I'm going to take the common point then I'm going to, going to add a 5 volt source pin here then 
I have done here some work in the V in point pin. Here I have used a Wago switch cap. So this one is the input input power and this one is the ground with respect to the power. You can find the ground and 5 volt source in the add part option and in the pin reset I have given a option to reset the full circuit here I have used a, you can see what type of elements I have used left click to the plus of the elements then go to properties then in the description you can see that this is a code switch so you can turn on and off or reset the whole circuit by using this switch then with respect to the this switch I have given a ground you all have a basic idea that in most of the activities of electronics with respect to power we have to give a ground without a ground a circuit cannot be a complete circuit so you can zoom in and out by using this two part like likewise right click on the plus sign and left click on the minus sign then I have made four JST pin to connect to L298 motor driver so here A2 has been connected to this one I have done it by using JST XH connector 2 pin here I have given a JST XH connector here then I have given with respect to this pin I have given a JST X2 connector here so and you all know that there will be a 5 volt power five volt power here and the ground so in this way I have added these pins with and converted these pins to JST connect connector so like from A2 to A2, A3, A4, A5 then A9, A10, A11 now I have made an, a common ground to the to all the ground of the Arduino Mega likewise I have done here in case of 5 volt so now I am going to connect BMP with the circuit so here I have used pin header this one is a pin header and you can see that pin header x1 x4 and this one ha I have done with respect to a BMP so in BMP we already know that there are two types of pin SCL and SDA so this one will be SCL and this one will be SDA and in this pin I have given a 5 volt source and this one is a chromatic capacitor here I've, I have mainly used chromatic capacitor because it is much more convenient and there are much more advantages to use chromatic circuits here then I have added here a ground and I have added chromatic circuit uh, chromatic 
capacitor of 1 microfarad like for example you can see this 1 microfarad so in this way in likewise i have done um, same type of thing in case of i2c then i have made here two circuits individually in order to complete the main circuit so i have used their v in then i have used their 10 mu f which one is basically a polarized capacitor then i have used their 0 0.1 microfarad which one is basically a uh, chromatic capacitor so i will discuss with this type of things in the next video but in this way you can do the basic arduino mega shield circuit now i am going to show you how the circuit will mainly look after you transfer it to symmetric board then click uh, now i'm going to show you how it click switch to board then you can see that this one is well connected as i have expected like the pin is connected to the pin header and the JST is well connected now you can you can mainly use it and here you can do the routing mainly by using pen fan out auto router then route here where or I will much more tell you to use the routing option by yourself not use the auto router option so there is a single signal then rest nest then delete copy paste and in the next video i am going to show you how i how a circuit is being routed will look basically so